In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your phone as a super high quality webcam. How's it going y'all? It is Ben Aqua and I'm really excited to show you this app. It's called Camo by a company called Reincubate. They're a sponsor of today's video and full disclosure, they hooked me up with a pro account, but all the opinions, everything that I say today is my own opinion. And if you wanna try out a pro account to Camo, check out the link in the description where you can get 15% off a pro account really awesome deal. Let's talk about Camo. Basically, it's an app that you put on your phone. It's free. And then you download an app onto your Mac or PC. It's called Camo Studio. It's also free. And then you plug your phone into your computer and then your phone all of a sudden turns into a really high quality webcam. I ended up finding Camo actually by accident because I recently got a Mac mini M1 with no webcam or microphone. So I've been building this whole like work from home setup around this computer. First, I tried I tried a Logitech Brio webcam, which I thought was pretty decent quality, but not like $200 level. I also tried the Logitech Stream Cam. So then I found Camo for iPhone, where I can use my phone as a webcam, and the apps are optimized for the M1 chip. All right, so here is my desk setup. The mic that I use for Zoom and everything is the Rode NT-USB Mini. Really awesome USB-C microphone plugs into my Mac mini, which is hidden underneath my desk. And this is my iPhone 11 Pro that I prop up on this pretty cheap, minimal selfie stand. These are super cheap on Amazon. I'll link to everything in the description below. This is the BenQ E reading lamp. This is an amazing lamp that BenQ sent me recently. Highly recommend this. It is a little bit pricey at $200, but it's this nice curved light that I use as a nice kind of blanket light for my desk. And I also angle it up a little bit because I use this as my main light when I'm doing Zoom calls and stuff. And then on the screen, I already have the Camo Studio app open, and this is what it looks like before you connect your phone. So you open up your phone and then go into the Camo app, and it looks like this where you can see that the camera's working on the back. And by the way, this app only works when you plug your phone with a cable into your computer. It's not a wireless app. Okay, so the lightning end is in my phone and then the USB-C end is gonna go into my monitor, which is connected to my computer. And there you go, you can see that now the image coming from my phone over here is showing up in the app, in the Camo Studio app. So now I'm looking at my phone and this is the quality that you're getting from my phone as a webcam. It's seriously as easy as plugging your phone into your computer and then opening this app. The quality's awesome, right? It looks so much better than the other webcams I tried and the autofocus is just amazing because it's the iPhone camera. So what you're seeing right now is the pro version of the app which enables HD. You can see resolution over here. There's 720 or 1080p. If you don't have a pro account, if you just have a free account, it caps out at 720p. And I noticed that you can select devices. So just for fun, let's hook up another phone because you can actually do multi-camera support with this app. And I tried this with five different devices at one point, iPhones and a couple iPads. And I had five different cameras that you can switch through just by clicking on here. All right, so I got my iPhone 6S Plus here and I'm gonna plug this into my computer now. And I opened up Camo Studio. And now you can see under camera settings, there's iPhone 11 Pro, and there's also iPhone 6S Plus. So if I switched over to the iPhone 6S Plus, now you're seeing the video from the iPhone 6S Plus. Wow, this is a little bit trippy. Check out this weird video effect you can also do. And now I have the iPhone 6S Plus pointed towards me. So this is what the quality would look like with the 6S Plus. And I'm gonna switch back to the 11 Pro so you can see that it looks even better. I love that you can use this app with more than one device. Underneath here, it shows you the battery life that you have left. And yes, when you have this plugged into your computer, it'll charge your phone as well. So you don't have to worry about the battery dying or anything. The mode is set to normal. And by the way, most of the settings I'm about to show you are enabled when you have a pro account. It enables what they call a portrait mode, which is in beta, but basically this blurs your background. You know, it actually looks pretty decent. You know, it looks a little bit artificial to me, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. Under mode up here, there's also lens, which you can use all of the lenses 
on your device. So right now I'm using the normal wide lens. You can also use telephoto lens if you wanted something like this. You can also select ultra wide if you want to use the ultra wide lens, which also looks really cool. And then you can also use the selfie lens. So if I switch that around, this is what the quality of the selfie lens looks like. Another thing you can do is manual focus. Right now it's set to autofocus. And then once you click on this little tab over here, you can drag this around and manually focus your camera. I usually just use autofocus because the iPhone autofocus is like alien level. And then under focus, we have resolution, but I just keep mine at 1080p, 16 by nine. And then under there, you have the audio where you can get the audio actually from your phone if you want. And under there we have presets. So there's a bunch of presets that you can use to buff the saturation or nerf the saturation, I guess take it down. There's also mono if you want a black and white kind of look. There's synth wave 1980s. So you can have this kind of live filter on your video if you want. They're kind of fun to play around with. And the cool thing about presets is you can make your own presets. So I have one called night mode, which to me looks the best under this kind of studio lighting. And if you make any adjustments or something in your picture settings, it'll automatically save those adjustments to your user presets, which is super handy. Under image transformation, you can mirror your video if there's a platform which doesn't mirror it for you. And if you have a pro account, you also have no watermark. So if you have the non-pro account, the free account, there is a camo logo. I highly suggest getting the pro account because then you can take off the watermark. You can even add your own custom watermark from your computer if you want like your company's logo or something. You can also rotate the image 90 degrees if you want, if you're playing around with different formats or whatever, I just keep that in the middle. And then you can also zoom in using digital zoom and kind of drag this thing around. So if you wanted to have like an extreme close up of your pores or something. And then let's go over here to the right side where you see light adjustments. This is where you can adjust the exposure so you can change the shutter speed of your camera. Again, this is like messing with, you know, a DSLR camera. You can really get into these settings. And then under that is white balance where you can manually change the temperature. If you want a bluer tone, you can go over to the left. It'll change the Kelvins over here. But if you just want the camera to kind of just do its thing, you can also uncheck the exposure. You can uncheck white balance. There's also a flash level, which means the flash on the actual camera on your phone. I just turned off the main light. And if you don't have a light above you, you can use the flash on your phone. It's kind of blinding to me, but if you're in a pinch and you want just like a little bit more brightness on your face, you can use that flash. Here's what it looks like completely off. Underneath the flash level is the image adjustments where there's brightness. You can click on that and manually change, you know, a super contrasty kind of look, or you can do super bright if you want. You can change the hue as well to make it look more green or make it look more red and kind of weird. And then there's also saturation where you can make things a lot more spicy in the colors, or you can tune it down all the way down to no color. There's also contrast where you can adjust the contrast a lot to make it look kind of like this. And then there's also gamma, which you can change manually. And then there's also sharpness where you can make things ultra sharp, which I would not really recommend because that looks really freaking weird. But you can also make things a little bit blurry too, which I don't really know why you would want that, but it's kind of a look. Once zoom is open, you go into settings and then you click on the video tab. And then down here, if it's not defaulted to reincubate camo, you wanna select reincubate camo. And that's taking the same feed from this app, the reincubate camo studio pro app, that's feeding it into zoom. So now I'm just gonna pretend like I'm starting a meeting and this is what the actual zoom app looks like. And you can see side by side that there is a little bit of processing from the zoom app. You know, it looks a little bit darker to me versus the Reincubate Camo app. But to me, this still looks really, really good. One of the limitations of this app, and it's not really the app's fault, it's actually Apple's fault because Apple does not allow you to use a virtual camera such as your phone plugged into Camo the way I'm doing them right now. You can't use Camo or even OBS with FaceTime, which is really, really annoying. It also won't work with Safari. You need to use a plugged in webcam for that, such as a Logitech camera. If you do want to use Camo and your phone as a webcam for Google Meet or Facebook Live or YouTube Live, etc., you're gonna have to use Chrome. And Chrome actually, for some reason, allows you to use your phone as a camera using Camo. So let's just go into Google Meet 
and I'm gonna just start a new meeting here. So I'm in Google Meet, I have a live meeting, I'm using my webcam, which is my iPhone as my main camera. I just think it's so cool that you can use technology that you already have in the live streaming and Zoom and Google Meets, etc. kind of setting. You don't have to buy an extra webcam, you already have one, it's sitting there on your desk. I really, really like that. So that's Camo by Reincubate. I am a super huge fan of the app. It's just a really handy app for getting really high quality quality video and audio from your phone. So let me know in the comments what you think of Reincubate Camo or maybe you have found another awesome solution for using your phone as a webcam. For me, Camo has worked the best. It's been the most kind of seamless process, the least amount of hassle, the best quality by far, and a really straightforward app where you can get into all of those different features of your phone to really use it basically like a DSLR. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And again, if you wanted to try Camo out, click the link in the description that'll get you 15% off of the purchase of a pro account. Thank you again to Reincubate for sponsoring this video. Smash the like button if this was helpful for you. Thank you to everybody who has been subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.